Hey Hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather and welcome back to day 22 of our 31 days of Samhain. And for today we will be going over connecting with mythical creatures. And the reason why we're going to cover this for our 31 days of Samhain is because as the veil gets thinner and as we grow closer to Samhain, it is easier to connect with the other worlds and with the dead and specifically with myth with mythical creatures as they like to roam around when the veil is at its thinnest and in my personal experience has been one of the best times to connect with mythical creatures if you are interested in pursuing relationships with them. Before I get into how to connect with them and some more information on mythical creatures, I have some questions for you. Have you ever worked with a mythical creature before? What mythical creature are you most drawn to? And when the veil is at its thinnest, do you feel closer to mythical creatures? Why or why not? Let's talk a little bit about mythical creatures and Samhain. So why why would we work with mythical creatures during Samhain? Because Samhain seems more like a darker holiday, right? And mythical creatures kind of seems like rainbows and sparkles. Well, that's just kind of a misconception. Mythical creatures aren't just rainbows and sparkles. I mean, unicorns pretty much are, but we're not talking about just unicorns, we're talking about the whole spectrum of mythical creatures. And some mythical creatures include shadow creatures that we covered a few days earlier. Some common mythical creatures to work with around Samhain are fairies, dragons, unicorns, trolls, gnomes, elves, literally anything that you can think of, I'm sure you could work with them, like phoenixes and thunderbirds, and any mythical creature that you want to connect with, it's going to be easier to do so during Samhain, but commonly fairies are the most common mythical creature that roams around, as that is the whole reason why we dress up as scary spooky things during uh, Samhain or Halloween, because this is our way to protect ourselves from mischievous fairies making off with us or taking us to the wonderlands beyond the beyond, so that is something to keep in mind, and when you want to work with mythical creatures during this time, make sure if you don't want to work with any darker mythical creatures that you take the proper precautions to protect yourself when trying to communicate with the creature that you want to connect with. For Samhain, it's really common to invite mythical creatures into your sacred space for your ritual, or to help with spell casting, or invite them to your silent supper. There's many different things you can do with mythical creatures during Samhain. I personally like to invite them into my circle during Samhain, and have a cakes and ale ceremony with them, and dance with them, and sing with them, and just have a great celebration and raise energy with them. And it's completely unique and different for every single practitioner, and whatever you want to do is completely up to you. And and depends on your comfort like your comfortability level and if maybe dancing isn't something that you're comfortable with maybe doing something like offerings for the mythical creatures during your Samhain ritual would be a better idea or better option. In autumn, we like to connect with mythical creatures because as I said, it's one of the best times to do so. The other best time to connect with mythical creatures is during Beltane when the veil is also at its thinnest, but in my experience, I feel the veil is at its thinnest in autumn and during Samhain. So this is just my personal experience and it may vary from practitioner to practitioner, but it's good to work with these beings during this time because not only is it really easy to connect with them due to the thinning of the veil, but if it's something that is completely brand new to you, it's going to be one of the easier times for you to try and establish these connections with these creatures. And if you don't, if you aren't successful right away, please don't beat yourself up about it because it's something that is totally common to not, you know, connect with them right away. I've been trying to work with unicorns for a very long time now and I still haven't met one. And I've also been working with the elemental guardian Grail and Fafnir and haven't formally met them either. So I've been working with those guardians for years now. So don't take it personally if you don't meet them right away. And it's not something to be discouraged about. It's just something to keep doing and keep taking the proper like steps forward to connecting with these creatures because they value persistence and they value commitment and honesty. So just some things to consider. Some common ways to connect with mythical creatures are meditation, giving them offerings, building altars to them, going out in nature, inviting them to your rituals, dancing and singing, spell casting or raising magical energy, doing automatic writing or divination, and dream work is also a common way too. 
When the thinning of the veil happens, why are mythical creatures more prominent during this time? Well, we've discussed the veil a little bit in our series so far, but just to reiterate, the veil is kind of like the boundary that separates the mundane physical world with the spirit world and the other worlds. And when the veil is thinner, it's easier for spirits to pass through and it's easier for us to pass through. So it's common to pass through the veil like via dream work or astral projection or things like that. But when it's from the mythical creatures point of view, it's easier for them to like pass through this veil and roam the earth. Now, they'll probably do it mostly in nature in nature's. They'll probably mostly do it in areas that are filled with nature as this is commonly where they're most often found. However, it's not uncommon to find them roaming around your neighborhood too, especially during the night of Halloween or Samhain. Mythical creatures can often be seen with the dead and can often be um, I wouldn't say messengers of the dead, but I would say like guides for the dead. And the reason why I say this is because when we are, when we pass away and our spirit or our energy leaves our physical body and our body returns to the earth, um, sometimes it can be a very traumatic experience for those who have passed and they can be lost or kind of stuck in limbo here on earth. And mythical creatures are one of the creatures that help these beings get to the other worlds and can also guide them. It's common for elves to do this, it's common for fairies to do this, and dragons to do this, and I'm sure many other mythical creatures do this as well. But if this is something that you're fascinated in, perhaps you could do a ritual to call upon mythical creatures that are around this time to help guide the dead to the next world or to the other world. Specifically those maybe you have lost or loved ones you may have lost um, this year or in past years that may still be lingering around. After all of that and after you try to connect with a mythical creature of your choice, I also have some questions to answer after. So first is which mythical creature did you try to connect with? And were you able to connect with a mythical creature? Why or why not? And lastly, will you consider working with mythical creatures more often in your craft? Why or why not? So if you are interested in learning more about mythical creatures and how to connect with them during the season of autumn and Samhain with the thinning of the veil, don't forget to click the link down below to a post that I made in the Hatchling Clan that goes all over um, connecting with mythical creatures specifically in autumn and specifically for Samhain and when the veil is at its thinnest. So it'll include all the information that you need in order to establish a connection and start a ritual or offer them the right things in order for you to kind of get on board with this and to try and maybe finally meet that mythical creature you've been trying to connect with for a while now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Mythical creatures are a huge part of my practice and so I really wanted to share it with you guys for this particular day and our days of Samhain. So I hope that you enjoyed it and if you try this challenge don't forget to join the Hatchling Clan, answer the questions, and share your experience with us because we want to, we're, we'd love to hear your experience about mythical creatures and how you were successful or things that you may recommend for us in the future. So sending you guys endless love and positive vibes today. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video it means the world to me but until next time stay geeky cheeky and I'll break it! little hatchlings but until next time blessed be and bye and it's funny that you think that I'm different when we're both made